This video for faculty in the Connecticut State Colleges and Universities will introduce you to the various options available to you to upload media, typically video or audio files, into your Blackboard courses using the Kaltura Streaming Media building block. Let's begin by turning on the Kaltura and Media Gallery tools. From within your Blackboard course, navigate to the Control Panel and select Course Tools. Notice that right now we don't see any tools here that relate specifically to Kaltura or to the Course Gallery. We're going to go turn those on. I'm going to scroll down and click on Customization, then click Tool Availability. First scroll down and make sure that Kaltura Mashup Kaltura Media are selected, and then scroll down until you come to Media Gallery and make sure that too is selected. Scroll down to the bottom and click Submit. Notice that now we have a link here called Course Gallery. Course Gallery is the link to the tool in Kaltura that is also referred to as Media Gallery. The two titles are interchangeable. Now I want to draw your attention to another important link that's found here, the My Media link. If you click on the My Media link, it takes you to your own personal repository of all of the videos, audio, or digital files that you've uploaded into Kaltura from any course. If I wanted to provide a single point of access to my students for all of the videos that I upload into the course, there's a simple way of doing that by adding a link to the Course Gallery tool onto your course menu. Click the Add Menu Item button, the plus sign up above your menu, and select Tool Link. Type in the words Course Gallery. Now, this is important. From the drop down, notice that you actually select Media Gallery. Make sure it's available to users, and when we click Submit, this new tool link will pop to the bottom of our course menu. I scroll down, and there it is. Now I'm going to drag it up so it's right beneath the Course Materials button. Now if I click on this, I can begin adding media to my course. Now notice that if I click the Add Media button, I have a few options. I can upload media, or I could record from a webcam. I can even use a screen recording tool that's built into Kaltura to create my own little screen tutorials on the fly. In this example, though, I'm simply going to upload a video file. So I'll click Upload Media. I'm going to browse to my computer, and I'll select this particular video file, which is an MP4. I'll click Open, click Upload, now that it's uploaded, I'll click the Next button. One thing that I strongly recommend is that you take out the file format from the title. Put in some searchable tags, and you can also put in a description. Click Next. Once the file is uploaded, notice that it's labeled as hidden. To make this file public to students in the Course Gallery, scroll down a little bit and click the Make This Item Public in Gallery checkbox. Now, if I click Edit Mode Off, to look at this from a student's perspective, you can see that if I click on Course Gallery, the students can click the Play button and view this video. Click the Add Media button and continue to upload additional videos. Instructors may wish students to upload media to the Course Gallery as well. Students, too, have the Add Media button. If a student uploads media into the Course Gallery, it will display initially only to the instructor. The student who uploaded the media is shown, and by default, this media is hidden. To make student uploaded content available in the Course Gallery to other students, simply click Make This Item Public in Gallery. What if you wanted to put a link to media right into your folders or learning modules, instead of just linking from the Course Gallery? Here's how. I'll open up one of the folders. The first option is to click Build Content and select the Kaltura Media Mashup. I can either select from the list of videos that I had previously uploaded, or I can click Add Media and upload media from my computer, record it from a webcam, or record a tutorial. I'll click Upload Media, browse to a video on my computer, click Upload, click Next, modify the course title, and then add some tags for searching. 
and a description. I'll click Next. Now I'll enter the title that the students will see for this item. You can add a description and set up the various options for this item. Then click Submit. Now the new Kaltura mashup appears at the bottom of the list in this folder. You can drag it to wherever you would like it to appear in the folder. Another option for inserting a link to a Kaltura Media item is to select the Tools button and then select Kaltura Media. The process of uploading, naming, and setting options for the media is exactly the same as in the previous example. There is one more option for inserting links to Kaltura Media that both faculty and students will find very useful. To insert the media using the Kaltura Mashup option that's built into Blackboard's Content Editor. For this example, I'll go to the Announcements tool. Let's say that I had created a welcome announcement, and I wanted to insert a link to a video welcoming students into the course. I'll click to edit this existing announcement and scroll down to the area in the announcement where I want to insert the video. And now I'll click the Mashups button and select Kaltura Media. Once again, I can select from videos that I've already uploaded, or I can click the Add Media button and upload a new video. I'll select the Welcome and Course Tour video that I had uploaded previously, and then click Submit. A thumbnail of this video is now inserted right into the Content Editor, along with all of my other text. Click Submit, and now the video is embedded into the announcement. Instructors can find detailed documentation on the Kaltura Blackboard Building Block in the Blackboard Faculty Orientation course. Students can search for media-related information on the CONSEU Student Support website.